This is so cool. The water that oozes out of here is called a seep. Seeps are places where groundwater comes to the surface, and they're actually common through the Catskill Mountains. Seeps are important because they help maintain stream levels during dry times of the year. Forests are vital in the protection of water as it moves through the ecosystem. Forests do three things. They act like a sponge, a filter, and an umbrella. That's right, exactly. First, trees and other plants capture runoff from heavy rains by absorbing the water, like a sponge, which reduces soil erosion, traps sediments, and keeps water in the forest for plants and animals. Trees and other plants protect the earth by acting like an umbrella, so that the soil doesn't all just wash away when it rains. Now, those roots underground both absorb water and hold the soil in place, further minimizing the effects of erosion. Forests and green spaces are also like gigantic filters, since they trap sediments and pollutants that might be moving through the watershed from upstream. Now, this goes a long way towards keeping water in the forest for use by plants and animals. Della, did you know that a large oak tree can drink up to 40,000 gallons of water a year? So people can have a hard time understanding how forests make water available when trees use so much. Yeah, I remember. The trees and plants of the forest absorb rainfall through their roots and release that water slowly as vapor through their leaves. That's called evapotranspiration. Through evapotranspiration, water is released into the atmosphere and the water cycle continues. Forests keep humidity levels high, which makes water available for other plants in the area. So water hangs around longer like it would in a sponge, rather than just flowing away as surface water. Water is one of the most important natural resources coming from forests. About one-fifth of the nation's water originates from 193 million acres of land 